Hello friend, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new logo design tutorial and today I'll show you this type of logo design in Illustrator 2023. So that is easiest way I'll show you in this tutorial. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. Going to the file at first, taking new options and artboard 2000 pixel 2000 pixel and giving the name D logo and hit the create button. You can choose the color profile RGB or CMYK if you want to go for print please choose the CMYK otherwise RGB is the best way for the web purpose and hit the create button and I'll take the color swatches and everything like this Ctrl command C and Ctrl command V making it a little bit of bigger and like this press I from the color picker and taking the color sample and Ctrl V that's fine and I from the color picker select this i and making this one okay that's fine so after that we'll go to the rectangle tool drawing rectangle 2000 pixels and 2000 pixels for the background and making this one into the middle of the artboard and lock it up Control command 2 for the lock i made the lock of the background because of when i will work over there will be cause of when i'll drag all the stuffs other stuffs it will be like move from there suitability i just made it lock now going to the circle or ellipse tool making this one middle okay and only the stroke mode for the watching convenient i'll make it white color stroke and making this one one pt that's fine and Ctrl command C, Ctrl command F, making this one a little bit of bigger like this. Actually, I'll make this one into like that. Ctrl C and Ctrl F, making this one bigger according to this. Ctrl C and Ctrl F, making this one a little bit of bigger. Ctrl C, Ctrl F, bigger. Ctrl C, Ctrl F, that is the biggest one. That's fine. So, we are taking the reference this logo for our convenience to watch. All the stuff is like that that's fine and again ctrl c ctrl f and making this one smaller like that taking the scale or line segment tool making them into like that and then another another circle or i can make this one like that or i'll take the circle like this so bigger circle this circle will be attached with that so i'll take like this the bigger one which one making this or i'll make the cut from here here and here and like that so selecting all the stuffs and going to the shape builders tool making this one white i'll making this one white like this at first we'll do with the white color and then we'll provide the gradient over there finally so this one will be like this that's fine in this portion press the alter option button and delete this one actually this portion not this so again i'll select all the stuffs shift m for the shape builders tool or you can go this one shape builders tool alter option button for the minus and i'll minus this portion and minus this portion and shift and making this one like that okay i'll make this one white so we'll keep only those area and other area will remove so how to do that going to the magic one tool select once in a line and delete all the lines so we'll make this one i from the color picker taking the color like this we'll do color separation or color like this that's good actually i'll make it 60 degree reverse that's fine and now challenge is we'll cut down this one so taking another circle from here actually making this one a little bit of bigger v from the keyboard press ctrl command y for the outline mode and it will help us out to make this one proper guideline like this we'll get the proper round like that here the shape builder tool or shift m so minus these values that means the alter option button press this so this area okay that's fine you can make this one round like that so this one is properly round if we get something a little bit like that i'm going to the smooth tool making this one a little bit of a smooth like that so control command y from the normal mode and here the smooth tool going to 
over there and making this one round so nice we found the keyboard that's fine our logo is ready so making this one group ctrl command g and making into this small little bit yeah and the middle of the artboard and now i'll make another copy by pressing ctrl or command or alter button making this one a little bit of smaller like this going to the text tool write down some text making this one bigger size like 72 and making this one into pop-ins like bold italic making this one white that's good and writing the name design and placing over there so our logo is ready so deleting this deleting all the stuff so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any sort of question queries request please do comment in my video comment section until the next video is i'm signing up today stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers bye bye